Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Quilter. Today we are going to be continuing our work on the armadillo quilt and I have a bit of a confession to make in that I messed up on the last one. So I was going on and on about how cute the little armadillo face was and I still have the one um, that needs to be redone so I could show you but I had his little eyeballs up here and then I have the rest of his face and I thought that this was just his nose but actually I have it incorrectly so this is what I have continued to work on and as I was putting this together I realized I messed up and so my previous armadillo had no forehead he was a foreheadless armadillo so I have since gone back and corrected that I will correct this one as well by taking out those stitches re-sewing them and then I can put these side blocks on to continue it. So we'll be taking off from this part right here, but I just thought I would let you know. I was so proud of myself and um, I had I had messed up, and but completely fixable. The great thing about sewing is we can always fix it, so just unpick it and iron it back down and then sew it back together. So we'll continue from here and um, let's get to it.
Okay, everybody, so here is the moment of truth. So we've got our armadillo heads here, and I've got the armadillo feet here. I've got our body, and then oops, there's one foot missing. And then I've got this strip and this. So, as you guys can tell, the big issue that I had is... This size is obviously not right. Now, I didn't want to cut anything off until I had finished the rest of the pieces of the block here to see. Um, this is how it will go together. And so we have a bit of a conundrum. Maybe I didn't measure these right. Maybe I need to double look at this double F and see that I and see if I measured it wrong. Because that may be the the case because this actually looks like it's fitting perfectly. I wonder if this strip is wrong. See, this is why I didn't cut this until I knew what this looked like. So um, let me go back and look at this. And I may just need to cut more background fabric of this, which will be fine. A little bit depressing, but we'll be fine. So let's work on this part here and then we'll go back to the top. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sew these together. They look like they're going to fit nicely, actually. Um, pretty nice. I think I can stretch. It may be a bit off, but I think I can stretch it. So I'm probably going to go ahead and pin this. Let me get some pins out here. Okay, so now I've got my armadillo body and my legs on there. It's not exactly perfect. This is that sort of like quarter of an inch, which is interestingly, let's see. This is how long that strip is supposed to be. I mean, we're definitely off by more than like a quarter inch of a strip. That's like at least half an inch or more. I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead because I'm not redoing all of this. That's to me, that's just too much. Um, I suspect some of it is from all of these seams right here. If these weren't exactly, so if I was a little bit short of a quarter of an inch on every single seam, that is going to extend that fabric out some this way. Um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't bother me that much. And what we can do to still get the same dimensions of the quilt is in our background fabric, cutting those strips a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna cut some more of these strips. I'm not gonna throw away what I have. I'm still going to be working, you know, I've got other armadillos to do, and if I can get it right, then I'm gonna aim to get it right. But I think that the strips is where I, I gained my fabric, um, and that that's why I ended up with this tail not being quite exactly right at the end of there. But it's an armadillo, like I think his tail could be there too, so it doesn't really bother me, so. I'm going to do the other ones here, and um, and then I'm going to cut these strips so we can get the top done. Okay, so what I've done here is cut another strip of our fabric that we need, and I'm just going to go ahead. I could measure it, but I'm just going to line this up, sew down it, and then cut it off or cut it even so that it's on there. And I'm going to do that for each of these. I think two strips will be fine. And um, that will fix my issue that I was having with that top strip there. So let me do that.
Okay, everybody, that's the armadillo block completed. So I'll show you all three of these blocks. Obviously, they're not 100% perfect. I'm actually about three quarters of an inch too long on each of these blocks. Um, I believe that that happened in the piecing of this. So I suspect because I'm so used to making my quilt stars and blocks that are a lot more forgiving whenever you're piecing those and you can do that narrow quarter inch seam even with my seam tape I think I just I just instinctually want to go smaller on it and so I'm gonna have to work on that for the next ones to see if I can get that three quarters of an inch farther down um, I'm not worried about it I can adjust this as we go through the quilt so I can adjust it so that that background fabric is going to be a smaller piece than what was on there, but that'll still give me the same length of it. Um, and the armadillos may be a little bit different in size. Again, I'm not really worried about that either because in real life, armadillos are a little bit different in size. So, you know, it's one of those things of depending on how it comes out, if I consistently do each color block and one is a little bit bigger than the other one or smaller, the nice thing will be that they'll all be consistent. So, um, oh, the last block here that we've got is this one. So my goals for the next one are gonna be piecing this more consistently um, and making sure my quarter inch seam is a lot more accurate and hopefully getting this tail a little bit closer. Again, it really doesn't bother me that it's not right on the edge. It might for some, but I mean, who's to say that where an armadillo tail comes out? Who's to say where it comes out, right? So I'm excited to have this block done. I hope that you guys enjoyed this process. I hope you've enjoyed sharing it. If you're interested in making this quilt, um, I got the quilt kit that I purchased from quarter fatquartershop.com down below. And then you can always just buy from Elizabeth Hartman, the Elizabeth Hartman armadillo quilt. Um, it tells you how to cut all of the fabric. It tells you everything that you need to know to make a small, large, and pillow quilt. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, looking forward to making some more blocks here. And don't forget to like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and let me know how you think it turned out. Thanks, guys.